Hi there, Leo. How are you feeling today? Welcome to your reading, and this is timeless for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, or if you've got strong Leo placement in your chart. And we'll be looking at your current energy, what's happening, and what spirit wants to advise you on, guide you on, or talk to you about, um, and get some, some advice for you. Okay, let's see. What does spirit want to bring forward for you today, Leo? What's been happening? We've got three of air. Okay, so there's been some there's been some pain and some heartbreak. Um, it could be something that you really wanted to work, something that you really wished for that hasn't happened the way that you wanted it to happen, expected it to happen, thought that it would happen. And now you're not 100% sure which way to go next. There's been a lot of healing that's been happening. We're still in a little bit of recovery mode with something. Um, uh, there's, I feel like there is some healing, some more healing that's needed. We will take a look at that. And there's some some pain or some anxiety around your around the heart space, and we're not. We've got our light, which never went out, but we're not quite sure which way to go. There's lots of different options. There's lots of different pathways, and maybe we can't even see them all just yet, or we're just not sure which one to go down. Okay, what else for Leo, please? Okay, bear with me, because I think I need... There we go. I <laughs> wasn't sure where the cards were going to fall from then. Okay. There we go, we've got this one here. Okay, we've got love, the lovers. So this is about choices, or it could be about a, a relationship, romantic relationship. We've got the Ten of Water and the Ace of Air. Okay. You are going to understand what choices happened in this situation that led to this Three of Air, this heartbreak. something wasn't for you with you showing up in your own reading here um very like very strongly in the for the, the major arcana energy something wasn't for you and you are going to have clarity of what that was and what it needs to be next time next time it's going to be this gorgeous emotional fulfillment but just not not just emotional fulfillment in something that you're doing by yourself, emotional, deep, meaningful, emotional connections where you are nurtured and you can nurture. This is the giving and receiving of love in the purest form. Okay, let's have a look at this a little bit deeper and see. What do we, I think I've got these upside down. I actually think I might have shuffled these, some of these the wrong way around. Okay. Let's see what else we need to know. We are moving away from this heartbreak and it, it, we are. I feel like there's things already happening that's helping you move away. And, but this energy is not going to last for forever. And it's not going to even, I want to say for most of you, it's not going to last for much longer. There's going to be other things to come in to help move move you away from whatever this has been. We've got Lord Ganesha, um, sorry, Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. That's, this is the emotional, deeper emotional connection. Something wasn't for you here. And it doesn't mean that it's not going to be painful. And even the acceptance and the knowing of that, there's still pain here, but it's, it's not um, where you were meant to be. Okay, this situation was holding you back. We've got, um, sorry, I can't say this, Mav Mavatar Babaji, soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. That's this clarity. 
this whatever's happened in this situation it's going to give you clarity that is on a very connected level on a 5d level on a a different realm level it's not just this situation you're going to understand it's like oh, you're going to understand all things okay but you're moving into something that is a lot more abundant and a lot more freeing and giving and we've got radar soul flame rediscover a lost part of yourself experience relationship harmony and healing you're moving away from a relationship or a connection that wasn't fulfilling and was actually quite um uh i don't want to say destructive but dampening restrictive limited and it kind of had a ceiling and it stopped you from i feel like it stopped both of you from from be from f this freedom feeling that that you particularly you you were seeking or this deep feeling of connection that you were seeking and it lacked a sense of generosity a sense of consideration of kindness of compassion of care in some way um, and it's not to say that both people in this situation are like that it's just there's something in the dynamic that made that happen but it's it's like a forgetting of that and a remembering of that that's going to come okay and this could be an old relationship where the energy is still very strong or it could be a recent uh, a change in dynamic in a relationship okay what else do we need to know right now for the viewer what is for the viewer please spirit the holy spirit expect miracles remember that only love is real miracles will occur naturally spirit has your back so there's no forcing anything anymore there's no it's like it do you know when people say that it shouldn't be this much effort or it shouldn't be effort at all there's this re this release of um feeling like you have to try hard at something for it to work this feeling of ease and we've got Serapis Bay, Ascension, move into your true self, rise above the darkness, the light is here. You are absolutely moving out of this, this situation or this energy, if it's an old situation, but the energy is still quite strong with you. It's like time to move on, time to move forward. And I want to say as well, keep your head held high. And we've got Joan of Arc, Voice of Truth. Stand, oh yeah, exactly. Keep your head held high stand strong focus on your purpose release the fear of persecution and speak your truth so this isn't about you being uh, dampened or limited or um, silenced in any way based on somebody else's reaction this is about you sharing your truth unapologetically honestly with compassion and kindness without it being in situations and in connections particularly in relationships where it's not going to cause any heartbreak particularly for you it's not going to come back and cause you heartbreak or uh, anxiety okay let's have a look at another level deeper what do we need to know about moving away from this situation okay these two came quite strong jump shift your life tune into crystals time time it's like a boost you need a super boost um, you could find that in the energy of crystals um, but you could find it somewhere else as well this is spirit saying just a boost we need a boost to come out of this energy and into a different energy now into the light energy a community life embrace fifth dimensional society so this is it's like this is what you want you want this feeling of and you want to give this feeling of like being generous being kind being giving being um aware growing ev evolving but as a collective as a community where there was a disconnect and a harshness before and either that needs that's changing with someone or that's what you'll have next time that's what you're inviting in or what's coming towards you in this type of connection okay communal markets trust that all you need will come to you you will find everything that you're looking for that's what i feel spirit is saying here 
and this is through the gift of giving by somebody else there's something really strong about the generosity that's coming through your reading and leo is an energy is extremely generous energy and kind-hearted and i feel that hasn't been matched and you're going to be in communities and around people that will will reflect that back to you as much as you do to others and we've got leadership and decisions make choices for the highest good of all for some of you and this might not resonate for everybody for some of you you've stayed in a certain situation and this could even apply to like a work situation or a family situation it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship although i feel for a lot of you it's that tip it's the it is that dynamic but it that in principle could apply um across the board um and this is about making the decision the hard decision like walking away or having a, a difficult conversation speaking the truth um without this fear of persecution um it could be you need to lead that or you've also stayed in a situation too long and you know you stayed somewhere too long because of the fear of perhaps hurting somebody else or breaking somebody else's heart this um uh and if that's been said it's like there's no truth in that because the truth actually hasn't come out yet. The truth of we're not happy, this isn't working, I'm finding this really difficult to deal with. Um, you know, this is these are my desires. Whatever these conversations are, these truths are, haven't come out. So there's a feeling of loss, but it's like the fear of loss and the fear of being alone rather than the the stepping into the truth of the situation but you need to lead that conversation or lead the direction or lead the action okay let's see what else is happening here but you have that ability because i mean leo energy has that ability to be the leader be a leader and in a community it's to tame within the chaos the strength to follow the truth and to follow your own pathway and we've got sexuality express pure love i do feel this is a romantic relationship if this isn't resonating for you leo in a romantic relationship check out your other um sun moon rising north node signs if this isn't because i do feel like this reading is is speaking specifically to romantic energy um there could be that this has been conversations around this has been difficult or hasn't been in truth or it hasn't there hasn't been this connection on this and um, the frequency of, of this kind of um, sensuality sexuality energy and that could be impacting um dynamic or has been impacting dynamic or is part of the or it's been somehow an influence on a dark level in the relationship somebody perhaps using that as a tool from a place of ego for some of you it's not going to be the same for everybody please only take what resonates here um but oh yeah we've got family relationships this is really about the connection that bring two people together in this very very spiritual way because there's such a, a profound exchange of energy and of um awakening that happens within this kind of sensuality energy that has been blocked hasn't happened has been covered something to do and you'll this will be very personal so you'll i'll stop there because it will be very personal to you and you'll know how what that means for you and we've got family relationships attune heart to heart this is what you're looking for you're looking for this effortless beautiful meaningful connection heart to heart connection that's what's coming for sure that's what's coming and you're leaving this old dynamic of relationship of connection behind okay let's have a look at the tarot what's been the challenge here what's been the challenge here okay queen of cups knight of wands okay The challenge has been honest, the honest, I want to say the honesty of emotions and the taming of emotions. So where there's been a lot of chaos, it's come out from very emotionally derived action instead of action from a place of passion and desire. There's been action that's been taken from a place of fear, the depths of fear. 
and it's covered up a genuine connection and I think it's just a dynamic that's built that had been had built between you and someone else that had that there was no agreement between you to step back and reflect and take a look that won't happen again with the next situation and I feel like spirit saying this it's the the courage and the the braveness to understand what emotions are there and understand where they're coming from and be able to tame them be able to calm those waters and also not to muddy the waters of the tr connection or of truth with emotion and the challenge has been to take action as well for some of you okay what are we moving into now what are we moving into now five of swords yeah tell me more about five of swords please because this is this is calling somebody out on their calling somebody out on their um for some it's going to be like an arrogance um on their detachment on their coldness on their sharp words on their tone on their communication on perhaps for some of you on their manipulation it's the the voice of truth around that either a recognition for you in that or a conversation with this person around that um, and we've got the seven of pentacles keep keep going with how you how you've been keep going you're learning what you need to learn in order for this to fully cycle out for you it's like you are it's making things this situation has made things feel very unstable yeah, we've got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords, which is going to, oh, and the King of Swords, which is going to bring clarity. We've got the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Nice. I feel like these are all what we're taking. Yes, Spirit said yes. Okay. Um, so we've got the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. <laughs> clarity and mastery. I feel like where someone has been very detached and perhaps a bit cold. that's going to transition into being very logical very decisive very clear it's like you're taking that energy and the essence of being logical do you know you can argue an argument anyway like if you know a good lawyer or you've seen a good lawyer on tv or in a film a good lawyer can argue anything because they can take all of these different facts and place them in an order that creates an assumption and creates something a context that isn't necessarily there and you can do that with anything but but you're taking that logic and that in intellect and that knowledge and warping it slightly but you're taking that same principle and putting truth on it and clarity on it so i feel like that's perhaps there's been some kind of a um, mental mind games that's been going on but there's it's like that you're clearing this up with the with the five of swords coming up you're clearing this up because you're going to get to the bottom of it nice nice okay i'm leaving those two because this is amazing we've got the two of ones time to realize that you the world is your oyster and you can move wherever you want to move you can go in whatever direction you want to go in this is your time to make your choice for you okay look at the bigger picture and then make a plan it's like look at where you want to be and then make the plan for steps to get there what's coming up for you is this is the magician the high priestess divine counterpart you haven't been in a divine counterpart connection which is why it's felt so um it's felt like it hasn't been in truth there's been purpose to it but it hasn't been necessarily in truth of what you need now this is the marrying of the the spiritual masculine feminine energy and um, this is this can be twin flame energy this can be divine counterpart energy for some when they come up together especially in the context of this type of reading and um, with the other energy that's come up for you um 
and this yeah, the relationship community energy <sighs> this it, this feels very fated divine powerful it also feels for some of you this person is in your life this counterpart is in your life for some of you this is a marrying of these energies in yourself and for others this is somebody that's coming in it depends on what you wish for it depends on what it is that you want coming up in the future because anything any of those can be your um can be what's happening or can happen for you you it's like you realized the meaning of the world now and you're giving you you've been given insight or now you've got access you've got the key to the door for in this this awakening this spiritual connection yeah this is really wonderful i love that this came out i love that this came out okay i'll leave this there. i yeah please feel very special <laughs> very very special for you okay all right then let's take a look at your own personal spiritual journey what's been happening there and what is what is happening now reflection some of this reflection is to step back and look at this whole situation and understand what happened to be able to come in and, and find closure on it or sort it out the other side of this is understanding and understanding your own part in the situation for some of you and i feel for a lot of you it's the staying where you know that you don't want to be in a situation or staying quiet when you when you wanted to speak your truth for some reason and understanding why that happened and having your own boundaries in place and not have that happen again to you for you by you if that if that makes sense i feel like you'll know what that means for you when you when you're in the energy of the reading here yeah okay what else for the viewer please spirit this is part part of how you find the closure thank you illusion yeah it's once you step back in this reflection energy you realize what the illusion was and it shatters There is someone pulling the wool over someone's eyes here, somewhere down the line. Something is, something has been hidden on purpose. We've got affirmations. This is you reaffirming to yourself who you are, um, what you're capable of, and we've got intuition. trusting yourself right now absolutely trusting yourself no if but maybe what if how if nothing like that this is you fully trusting yourself on the next part of this journey okay let's have a look at some guidance what do we need to remember as we go through this these next stages what do we need to remember we've got unleash Hold nothing back, expand into the universe. Do not hold back your truth. I feel like that's what Spirit's saying here to you. And we've got breakthrough. For a star to be born, it must first collapse. This is not your destruction, this is your birth. Because this, there is positivity. There's so much positivity here for you when everything cycles out. But you, it's like you hold the reins and you've got the power um, and you can direct this cycling out okay let's see what else do we need to remember where are we oh i don't know where here we go <laughs> um we've got singularity you are your own sun moon and stars this is all about you doing what's right for you do you know when we do what's right for us there is always because we we're, we're collaborative energy like we're we're we stand on our own, but there is this, there is the oneness that underpins it all. And when we're in our own truth, there is a truth in there for the whole, for the whole as well. I feel that's important for you to know and remember um, with this situation, with these conversations, with expressing your truth. 
and we've got outer space. Take the time to heal, grow and expand. So take some time to step back and just take a breath before you move on with this next uh, next stage because it's been a lot. It's been very heavy. We had a flip there. What do we have? Phases. Shine even when you're not whole. So this is perhaps you feeling like just that the things are a little bit broken, that things are a little bit challenging, that things are a bit difficult, but not being, not getting stuck in that and just still shining your brightest light anyway, because it's not about being whole or not whole ultimately. This is you always being fully you, 100% you, whatever that looks like on any given day, minute, moment. Okay, let's get some final words of guidance from spirit for you, viewer. My, I was, do you know what? As I just said, the moment I was going to say, we it only is the moment. The moment is the truth. There is no past, future. There is, it's, it's our kind of like understanding on, on how we perceive time. But the moment is always the truth, and it's about being in the moment. And we just had hummingbird spirit be here now. Be in the moment because it helps calm the chaos. So you're not caught up in the story and the narrative of something oops and we've got bat spirit a rebirth is assured yep you are ab you are completely transforming through the situation oh okay is it all of those spirit no okay hold on a second bear with me viewer bear with me that one came out where are we okay thank you we have yes snake spirit take time to heal so there is some time there is some time needed for healing um that could be with um some friends some family it could be on your own could be a few things that are needed for this in this period and we've got coyote spirit trust in divine detours so trust all of this is leading somewhere do you know where it's, it's leading to this it's leading to this counterpart connection and that is either in yourself or with someone else. I feel like that's where it's going. So that something can fall into place at exactly the right time. And we've got giraffe spirit, see the big picture. And with this energy and with the two of wands here as well, because this feels like the most important part of the reading for you because this is where all of this is leading and you're holding like holding the world in your in your hand and with this card in particular we've got an eagle at the top and it's like the be the visionary see the point that you want to get to on the big picture scale of things and then build that up slowly it's not about playing it small it's not about not going after what you want this is really about you get going after what you want and perhaps using affirmations to help kind of focus and, and guide you um, and to reaffirm but see the big picture, see where you want to go, where you want to get to, what that big vision is, and go after it. Because there's nothing stopping you once you decide to go after it. Nothing. Okay. All right, then, viewer. I will leave it there for today. I hope that you got some guidance from the reading and just some clarity about um, some complexities that might be in the situation that you're facing and dealing with at the moment. Thank you for watching the reading with me today as always and I hope to see you next time. Take care.